as a sports medicine physician, I take care of a lot of people who are in pain. And it's hard nowadays to talk about the word pain without people immediately thinking about opioid addiction. This is a problem that started in part because of physicians treating the symptom of pain with a pill rather than finding the underlying problem and fixing that. Now, we've come a long way in medicine, but we still have a long way to go. If I think about how to treat addiction, we know through research that people form addictions because of their innate need as humans to form bonds and connections with people, with substances. People don't plan on becoming addicted to something. But if that connection, if that bond gives you a pleasant feeling, that feeling fades very quickly and it's easily repeatable, the stage has been set for addiction. Now, we know that one of the most important things about treating addiction is having empathy. Being able to see the world through the eyes of somebody who's addicted. Now, some of you might be sitting here and saying, I, I don't know how easy that is because I don't have an addiction. People who have addictions have cravings and they have urges and they go through withdrawals and I don't know that I can relate to that. Well, I would guess that most of the people in this room have a cell phone or a smartphone in their pocket and I'd like you to take this out. Take it out of your pocket or your purse and I want you to hold it up. Oh, we're doing this. It's a beautiful sea of faces. Now, once it's up, we have connections to these things. This is my son, Maximus. When it's out, I want you to turn it off and put it back in your pocket. Because while you probably silenced your phone, you didn't actually turn it all the way off. In fact, we rarely ever turn this completely off. But now what happened? You are disconnected from your digital world. You are missing updates right now from all of your social media accounts. <laughs> you're missing posts and you're missing tweets. You're missing updates on the big game. Nobody can call you right now and you can't call anybody else. You are missing every single text message that somebody's trying to send you. And I have no doubt that I've probably made a couple of you feel just a little bit uncomfortable about that. Some of you feel like you want to turn your phone back on. Don't. And a few of you haven't even turned your phone off. <laughs> even though I just nicely asked you to, and you know I'm only up here for about eight minutes. I'd like to introduce you to a new term that I call social opioids, micro addictions to our digital world that we use to make us feel happy and get rid of pain and get rid of anxiety and get rid of stress by doing what we call making social connections. Isn't it interesting that this tool that we use to make social connections is making us less social? We see this all the time. Have you ever been out to dinner and when everybody gets seated, everybody takes out their phone and puts it face up on the table? You wanted to spend time with everybody else, but you don't want to be too far away from your digital friends. Or how about this? Have you ever experienced the sensation of ringsiety? <laughs> this is where you think you felt a vibration in your pocket, <laughs> or you thought you heard a notification and you look at your phone and there's nothing there. What better of an example can you think of of having a crave or an urge for an addiction? You see, you are hardwired to feel that vibration of your phone or hear that notification because it means that somebody's trying to reach out to form a bond or form a connection with you. 
If you can imagine, this is just a fraction of the feeling that somebody addicted to an opioid feels when their vice reaches out to them to form a bond and form a connection. But you won't feel anxiety right now because your body knows that your phone is off. You see, you have removed access to that addiction. But you might feel still a little bit uneasy about not having access to your digital world. Now, what do we do about that? With patients addicted to opioids, we remove access to medication and we replace it with a solution to their problem. With social opioids, we remove the access to your digital people and we replace it with the people who are right in front of you. Look around the room. Really look. Look at the number of bonds and connections just waiting to be made because your phone is off. It's amazing. Even more so, your senses are heightened. You are paying attention to one person. You're really listening, not just hearing me. You have a sense of presence right now. You are present in this moment. Imagine being this present at your next business meeting, or out on a date, or with your children at dinner. And to achieve this, you don't have to do that much. You don't have to delete your social media accounts. You need to turn off your phone for a couple of minutes. And the results can be amazing. You want to make a connection with somebody that you just met? Tell them, give me just a second. Let me turn this off. I don't want any interruptions in our conversation. Right? Don't be the person who goes to dinner and flips that phone up. Don't be the bright white screen in a dark movie theater. And please, don't be the person distracted while they're driving, more importantly focused on texting their friend than paying attention to the other cars around filled with other people's friends. Thank you. You see, in life, a lot of things can be solved by unplugging something and plugging it back in. And that includes you. So today, as your social opioid addiction specialist, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a prescription to turn off your phone. No one is gonna be upset when they found out that you didn't get back to a text message because you were driving home or because you were at your daughter's basketball game or at dinner with your children or even that you are paying very close attention to a simple yet profound and thought-provoking talk. <laughs> Maybe the best one you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> Thank you.